Hey guys, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks. In today's video, we're taking a look at the recent news from Rivian Automotive that has caused the stock to drop. So let's get into it. All right guys, welcome back and thank you all so much for being here. Today, we're taking a look at news from Rivian Automotive about some delays that have caused the stock to drop about 5% currently. We'll take a look at what else is going on with Rivian and how the analysts are all weighing in. Just before we get into all of that, this is your friendly reminder that if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. All right, let's jump right into this Rivian news. Trading under the ticker RIVN, the stock has now dropped below $98 per share, down about 5% this morning. The news behind this drop is that Rivian Automotive let customers know that pickup trucks and SUVs ordered with their Max Pack battery will not be able to be delivered until 2023. The company said that it has about 71,000 pre-orders for the R1T and R1S in the US and Canada, of which about 20% have chosen Max Pack batteries. So in order to serve this large customer base, the company will be first targeting the large pack batteries in 2022 before moving on to the max pack batteries in 2023. Rivian's large pack battery is set to give a range of about 314 miles, whereas the max pack battery boosts that up to about 400 miles of range on a single charge. They are sharing this news with customers now so that they do have the option to change their order if they wish to choose the other battery in order to get delivery sooner. They'll have updated delivery times in early 2022. So this seems to be one more hurdle for Rivian as their stock has been on a downward slide after a hot IPO back in November. Right out the gate, the stock shot up to highs of $179 per share. They quite promptly dropped back to that $120 price range and have been between there and $100 per share since. With their IPO, they raised $13.7 billion of gross proceeds. Following their IPO, the company released their first quarterly earnings report as a publicly traded company a couple weeks ago in mid-December. After this earnings report, the stock did fall below $100 for the first time, the lowest it had been since their IPO. This earnings report included the news that in September, they delivered their very first R1T. As of December 15th, they produced 652 R1 vehicles and delivered 386 of those. Through their first customer deliveries of 11 R1Ts, they generated total revenue of $1 million. They had a negative gross profit of $82 million for their third quarter. Their total operating expenses for the third quarter grew to $694 million, which was an increase of 141% year-over-year. The higher expense stemmed from increased efforts related to their R1 vehicle and EDV programs. Adjusted EBITDA for the quarter came in at a negative $727 million. As we mentioned, the company now has about 71,000 reservations, and this was up from about 48,000 at the end of September. They now also have over 10,000 employees as of December 15th. So investors definitely seem a bit worried about Rivian's production capabilities, but analysts less so. The stock does currently come in as a moderate buy with 10 buy ratings and four holds. The average price target comes in at $134 for an upside potential of 38%. A couple analysts weighing in on the Rivian stock is Daniel Ives from Wedbush and Joseph Spack from RBC Capital. Daniel said that the ability to ramp the factory in Illinois, coupled with component shortages, are the culprits for the shortfall, but he called demand robust and expects reservations for passenger trucks to exceed 100,000 by the second half of 2022. Joseph Spack weighed in, saying that demand is strong with orders accelerating, but production hitting some early bumps. We don't believe this impacts the medium-term investment case, but it does highlight that the company has a lot on its plate. Looking at our recent ratings, we do have holds on the low end with upsides just shy of 7%. Joseph Spack comes in on the higher end with a buy rating at $165, which would be upside of 69%. So a lot going on for this new EV company as they start to get some vehicles on the road. Now the analysts still feel quite bullish, but the stock seems to continue to slide. So maybe we'll hit a bottom here soon and we'll have a great price to snag this up at. Now you guys know I always love hearing from you, so let me know your thoughts on the Rivian Automotive stock down below. Are you feeling bullish on this one or are you going to sit on the sidelines a bit and see how things play out? Please keep in mind that these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock and are just meant for entertainment and information purposes. Make sure 
sure you're always doing your own research and due diligence before making any investment decision. If you made it to the end of today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and that you're subscribed to the channel as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you back here next time.